For which H is the given three by three matrix not invertible? Recall if a matrix is not invertible, it does not have an inverse. Also recall that an N by N matrix A is invertible if and only if the determinant doesn't equal zero, which means if the determinant is equal to zero, the matrix is not invertible. This indicates we need to find the determinant of the given matrix, set it equal to zero, and solve for H. An N by N square matrix A, A sub I J is the matrix after deleting row I and column J, and the determinant of matrix A is equal to the sum from J equals one to N of negative one to the power of I plus J times the entry A sub I J times the determinant of the matrix A sub I J. To apply the formula, we can select any row, or actually any column, I'm gonna go ahead and use row three, since row three is a row that includes H. So again, to set this up, we need to find the determinant of the given three by three matrix, set it equal to zero and solve for H. Using row three, the first entry is seven, which is in row three, column one, which means in our formula we have negative one raised to the power of three plus one times the entry of seven times the determinant of the matrix after deleting row three and column one. So deleting row three and column one leaves us with the two by two matrix with entries two, three, five, and six. Now we have plus. We now move to the second entry in row three, which is the eight. Since the eight is in row three, column two, we have negative one raised to the power of three plus two times the entry of eight times the determinant of the two by two matrix after deleting row three and now column two, which gives us a two by two matrix with entries one, three, four, and six. Now I move to the last entry in row three, which is the H. Because the H is in row three, column three, we have negative one raised to the power of three plus three times the entry of H times the determinant of the two by two matrix after deleting row three and column three. Giving us the two by two matrix with entries one, two, four, five. and we're trying to find the H where this determinant is equal to zero. And now we begin simplifying. Negative one to the power of four is positive one times seven, which gives us seven. And then times the determinant. The determinant is equal to two times six minus three times five. And then we have plus negative one to the fifth power, which is negative one times eight, which is negative eight. Let's write that as minus eight times the determinant, which is equal to one times six minus three times four. And then we have plus negative one to the sixth, which is positive one times h, giving us plus h times the determinant, which is equal to one times five minus two times four. Equals zero. Simplifying, we have seven times 12 minus 15, which is negative three, minus eight times six minus 12, which is negative six, plus h times five minus eight, which is negative three, equals zero. Simplifying, we have negative 21 plus 48 minus three h equals zero. Negative 21 plus 48 is 27. Subtracting 27 on both sides, we have negative three H equals negative 27. And our last step is to divide both sides by negative three, which gives us H equals positive nine, which gives us H equals positive nine. Going back to the question, is there only one such H? Are there several or infinitely many? In this case, there's only one H, which is H equals nine. Any other value of H and the given three by three matrix would be invertible, meaning it would have an inverse. I hope you found this helpful.